Okay, so um, apparently I missed a couple memories in the third chapter, Rooftops. Um, so here's one of them. Um, this uh, neon sign right here. And you get... You climb up a pipe uh, from where the steel girder is like hanging uh, after that section. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be a strict energy caps, especially in the slums. People couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. The person was taken away and never seen again. The people saw hope. Not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was, there was nothing the oppressors could do. It was the way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Alright. So yeah, um, I guess I just kind of uh, skipped that one by accident. So there's one other memory and we'll cut back when we uh, get to it. So see you in a sec. Okay. And here is the second one that we missed. Um, you need to come up like uh, one floor from where you enter this uh, under construction building that's infested. And it's this Nico Corporation. Neko Corp. They're responsible for waste management. This trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away way more of the trash. Now we have the Zerks. Let's go. So yeah, um, I think I mentioned it at some point that the Zerks were created to get rid of the trash, but they kind of got out of hand. So, alright, and that is all the memories from this location. Uh, we'll be back with your regularly scheduled program. Alright, um, and we're back now that we uh, got those two memories that we missed, which was kind of a bitch to do because the game doesn't save your memories. Like, it, it doesn't, it, it'll save it like, let's say you did one of the memories, but you decided to go back and get the other ones. It doesn't save the, mem the one memory that you had gotten. So you kind of have to play through the entire uh, chapter in order for it to count, which is pretty annoying. One exception might be the slums, I think, since you go back there multiple times. It'd be a real uh, bitch if uh, <laughs> it got rid of all of your memories from that. So before we uh, head down that way, we need to come over here uh, because this is one of our first memories, or one of the uh, one of the memories that we need to get. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember. It was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Alright, so we got one other memory in this area. Dead End. Alright, so once you come down here... You're gonna get. This is another Zerk section. You need to be quick and avoid them as best you can. So we need to lure them out for heading through here. Uh, 
Okay. So at this point, you're safe from the Zerks. We need to travel on these uh, girders. these girders and pipes. There is one more memory, and it's not too far from here. It's going to be another minute before we get to it. I believe. Um, I think. Yeah, I think we still need to travel down this. I don't think you really have any control over this section. You just kind of, you know, Kind of just go with the flow here. <laughs> you okay, kitty? That was a huge ball. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Alright. Yeah, it's this section that I'm thinking of. Yep, lick your wounds. Not sure how licking really helps with a, a broken ankle, but... I suppose that's just the, the power of being a cat. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see. We need to go this way. And this one's a pretty easy one to miss. But over here, there's a little break in the fence, and we have a little uh, fishing shack. And this is where I went ahead and did my <laughs> hour-long nap for the achievement. <laughs> uh, when we get, and get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's uh, what the scientists would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. But first, nap time. Ah, so scenic. I really do like the uh, the nice chill music that plays while you take a little cat nap. So yeah, that would be my recommendation as to where to take your hour long nap if you want to get the achievement, uh, just because it kind of looks nice and you know that that's what I'm, that's the most important part if you're gonna have to wait an hour for the game to register that you did the achievement you might as well wait in a nice looking spot well as nice as you can really get in this post-apocalyptic um uh hellscape of a city heh eat it nerds Good thing they don't know how to chew through a <laughs> through a um, metal crate like that or metal cage. Whoa! Wait, you're not a zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. Been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer. Hmm, a defluxer. This guy's name is. Doc? 
has a crazy hairstyle that kind of looks like a, a character from uh, Back to the Future. But I didn't go, but it didn't go as planned. Wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how they escaped this place. Oh, hey. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They're small and running around, making a lot of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses. See, you miss. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. <laughs> but is that the same thing? Hmm. Interesting. First, let's mark our territory. At least we're not pissing on the wall. We're just scratching it. Hey, be careful with that deflexor. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts. What? <laughs> How are we going to find 1.21 gigawatts? Problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew. With all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. Not fast enough, but you might. No, you just might be. You can reach the generator and replace the fuse. I should be able to get the deflexor recharged. Come on. Follow me. I'll show you uh, what to do. Alright, first. Just cause. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Gained a new item. Woo! Turning on the generator will be loud. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge the kickstart. Kick to start the deflexor. I don't know why I'm trying to really hold back yawns. I don't mean to. <laughs> uh, you just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, and then meet me back here. Best of luck. Alright, so the cables go this way. So yeah, that this is the deflexor. The deflexor uh, is really the only means of destroying the Zerks. Try and stay in an area where you can actually, you know, use it. Ah, uh, get away from me. here. I feel like leaving your window open is not a good thing. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, yeah, fist pump. Amazing, you got the generator back on. Seen how powerful the defluxer is? Ah, sorry about that. Uh, it's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. I think that thing's a little too large to my, for my drone, okay.
but somehow he managed to get it working. It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. All right. Not sure how we uh, can really get back, but sure. Sure, Doc. So you use it by uh, using the left bumper. Take out those zerks so we can get through. All right. Wow, <laughs> it's working great. Uh, let it cool for a bit when it happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. So yeah, you can't overuse it. Otherwise, the drone will... Not necessarily explode, but it'll, like, overheat, and you'll be out of it for a little bit. Which, at that point, you kind of have to just be careful. The switch doesn't work. Looks like the electricity has been cut. Well, that seems like a problem. Alright, so let's see here. We need move a few things around here. Let's fit through, and it does. Excellent. I just love if uh, <laughs> it was like. Cat, what are you doing with those barrels? Um, well, I'm trying to remember how this works. Oh, there it is. Okay. I didn't see... I, I thought we needed to climb onto that exhaust. But there's actually a little vent here that we can go through. Okay. I'm not seeing any zerks, so let's go ahead. Oh, there are some zerks. Ooh, okay, there's more Zerks here than I thought. Um, yeah, definitely, now that you have the Deflexor, make sure to use it. You don't need to... Off of me. Go after him. Oh, yep. Yeah, uh, wait until the thing uh, resets. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Let's go back home. sure how far away we are I well it actually might through might be right through this doorway I think we just have to wait for doc to open it uh oh okay I think we're yeah we're right here Wow, that seemed a lot safer. <laughs> Aww. 
Aww. That's adorable. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Sanus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Nice. Doc and Sina seem uh, look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Alright, so this is sort of your last chance in the slums if you are missing anything, whether it be like the music or memories or anything like that. Uh, this is your last chance to go and try and get those before um, you uh, move on with the story. Now, obviously, you can always... Uh, can always go back in the into the chapters and do it that way but just so you're aware so i see <laughs> what happened to that bag just shot off like a bullet <laughs> all right well um i think i'm going to put a cut in here now and make sure that we're not missing anything i don't think we are at this point um so but I'll see you guys in the next part as we go into the sewers, which is probably the most dangerous level of the game. So, thanks for watching.